goodness. See how that blade bone right there? That's that about, yeah, watch that bone just come on out. Yeah, watch. Wow. <laughs> Falls apart. It's what we want. <laughs> what we call right here our muscle. See how smoke ring, how it just falls apart. This is the best part of that butt. They call it the money muscle because it wins you the money. It's located on the very top of the hog. So you've heard living high on the hog. That's This is where that comes from. This is the high on the hog. You see how it just pulls apart nice and tender. Perfect. The inside parts where the tubes are, see how it's got a little bit more string to it. See that bark on the end and my, you can see my uh, smoke ring all the way throughout. Not gray meat, which is what we're looking for. We don't want it gray. When it's gray, it's overdone. See how it's got that nice pink color to it? Just pulls real easy. Fat comes right off the top. We take those parts right out of it. Nice and juicy. You can see more of that bark and that smoke ring, what we're talking about. We got a good half inch of smoke ring there. You should be able to pull it and it gets just a little bit of pressure to it. It shouldn't fall apart because if it's mushy, you overcooked it, but you notice how it just pulls apart. Nice and easy. You don't chop it. If you chop it, you didn't cook it right. And this is where you can get to see the nice the top of it. Again, the blade bone, right out. Clean as a whistle. You want that bone in there because she's going to give you a lot of extra flavor in there. Yeah, that bone now is where it's at. Just get the top of the fat cap off. We leave some of it. See, nice and tender. Right back to that money muscle I was talking about. Look at that. Mm. Pulls. Perfect. How'd you get it to make that happen? What was the process? The process is we um, we did this because good friends of Fayetteville, are good friends of ours, so we did it competition style. So when I first get the meat, I trim it up and get all the excess fat and any nodule fat. That's that's what gives you a bitter taste. Very important to get that off. A lot of restaurants don't mess with all that, but like I said, we did it competition style. And then we will inject it. Um, it's, we inject with a mixture that's got some fruit juice and stuff in there so that all this meat, and you can kind of see a good example of it right there, it's going to use, a, it's going to open up those muscle fibers and get all that flavor down into there. You see how that easily pulled apart? Well, part of that's our brine solution that we put, we inject with. At that point, we're going to put it back in the cool refrigerator and after we've rubbed it, the initial rubbed on it, and we're going to wrap it with some saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and let it sit so those flavors can just kind of digest down into our meat. And then about two hours before we, uh, we go to put it on, we are going to let it come up to temperature. And then we are going to, uh, after it's come up to an ambient temperature, we're going to put it on the smoker. 225 degrees and let it cook for 12 to 14 hours. And you, we're going to wrap it once we get a nice color and we get that on our smoke. Pull it out at that 12 15 hours or whenever it reaches 192 degrees. And we're going to serve nothing but delicious goodness. Mm -hmm. That. That's a good looking pan barbecue right there. That's right. Yeah, I do.